The number one divine feminine wound is around self-betrayal and self-sacrifice. Feminine energies throughout generations have been so deeply programmed to entirely betray themselves in the service of the needs of others around them. And in the process, feminines who completely sacrifice themselves, their own needs, their own wants and desires in this fashion find themselves feeling almost enslaved to society and to the people around them. Not only that, but when they reach a breaking point and come to finally recognize that they themselves have needs to be loved, to be seen, to be supported, they often find that when they try to express these needs to receive that love and support, they are not met with respect and therefore they feel silenced and unheard and nearly invisible. But in this video, I'm going to talk about how the global divine feminine collective at this point in the ascension of human consciousness is healing this wound and in doing so, rebalancing the divine feminine and divine masculine energies on a global scale. Not only that, but in this video, we're going to talk about how when you heal this very specific wound through steps that I'm going to share in the video, you will go from feeling unseen, unheard, and possibly again, even invisible to being extremely magnetic for everything and everyone that you desire. Your desires will literally start chasing you because you are meant to be pursued. You are meant to be chased by the things and the ones that you desire as the beautiful divine feminine goddess being that you are. And as you deeply reactivate and connect in with that truth, you will find that dynamics in your life, in your work, in your relationships that have felt really out of balance for a long time will start to balance themselves out because especially as divine feminines, what we really find is how profoundly our external world and everything in it is a pure reflection of our own aura, our own energetic field. So the more that we show up for support, heal, nourish, and care for ourselves, the more we find ourselves provided for, supported, and cared for by our world and by the people and circumstances around us. And rather than needing to ask or demand these things verbally from other people, they flow to us naturally because we shift the balance from within ourselves and via the law of attraction, the governing law of our universe, when we shift the energy from within ourselves, our physical reality must reflect those internal shifts. It's the mantra, as within, so without, as above, so below. But before we get into all of that, let me introduce myself to those of you who are new to the channel. If you are new here, then welcome. My name is Infinity and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. If you are feeling a resonance with the energy here, I invite you to subscribe to the channel, join our beautiful community of like-minded, conscious, creative beings here on YouTube. Okay, so as a divine feminine being, one way to go about shifting this balance energetically between you and the other things or people in your life, one way to heal this wound around 
self sacrifice and around self worth that keeps you in that state of imbalance is to begin finding ways to carve out time and space to deeply reconnect with your own internal world. The wounded divine feminine will reach and seek externally outside of herself to fill a void that can only be filled by her own self within. And so as we are on this journey of healing our feminine energy, it's so essential to create space in our day or in our lives where we are focused on cleaning up our inner world and deeply reconnecting with our own internal self rather than seeking for that sense of connectedness externally. Now, of course, this can be done in so many ways. It can be done through affirmations where we are speaking things that we desire into existence, speaking even aloud to ourselves to help us embody more of that energy, kind of like putting on clothes to present ourselves in a certain way in the morning speaking affirmations is a way of putting on a certain energy of course it's not the only way to go about doing this but it can be a really powerful way to clothe ourselves energetically in a brand new energy so for example saying things aloud like i am confident i am beautiful i am powerful i am inspiring speaking aloud using those I am affirmations, what we desire ourselves to be will help us to embody more of that kind of energy and essentially start fulfilling ourselves, validating ourselves through shifting the way we speak about ourselves. This eliminates any kind of clingy or needy or desperate energy that we may have been emitting in the past because we are actually finding that sense of validation within, putting on the kind of energetic essence we want to embody and carrying ourselves with this newfound sense of confidence that comes from wearing that new energy. Now, of course, affirmations that we speak aloud are mostly targeted to the conscious areas of the mind, but research has shown that it's actually the subconscious mind that controls 95% of our thoughts, actions, and outcomes in life. So, reprogramming what's happening in our subconscious mind as the divine feminine is so essential as well. And it's really a powerful way to fast track some of these energetic shifts and changes to essentially shift our energy from the inside out. One very, very powerful tool to target the subconscious mind is subliminals. Subliminals are affirmations that are targeted targeted to the subconscious areas of the brain because they are affirmations embedded within other meditation sounds and frequencies, which actually allows them to bypass the conscious filter of the mind and make deeper, more lasting impressions on the subconscious mind. Personally, I have been meditating with subliminals for seven years now, and I have seen the most profound results, shifts, changes, and manifestations come into my life as a result of using subliminals on a nearly daily basis for the last seven years. So because I'm so passionate about them, I created my very own subliminals app called Sound and Soulful. It's now available in both the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. And when you sign up for a seven day free trial account in the app, you can access over 130 subliminals I've created. You can make your own custom private playlists. You can even read the affirmations contained within each subliminal while you are listening. And I've made each subliminal available in 10 different background sound options as well. So there's really a listening choice for everyone. 
And again, I personally now use my own subliminals in the app every day, and I find that they really help me to ground myself, to clear my energy, and to really step into that magnetic state of being as a divine feminine myself, as I know that you probably are as well, if you are listening to this video. So specifically for this podcast video, I would most highly recommend my subliminal called the Awakened Divine Feminine. This is designed to really magnetize your energy as the divine feminine goddess being that you are to really help you call back your energy, reclaim your power, get into that flow state of manifestation where your desires are literally chasing you and are coming into your life effortlessly with ease, harmoniously. So if you would like to try out this awakened divine feminine subliminal, the link to download my app and sign up for a seven day free trial account is in the pinned comment and description box underneath the video. The second way that you can heal this worthiness wound as a divine feminine around self-sacrifice and self-betrayal and really shift the balance in all of your connections, but especially your romantic connections is to make what is happening in your life more interesting to you than anything that is happening external to your life. And what I mean by that is you have to shift the emphasis from other to self. You have to shift the emphasis from being interested in what someone else is doing, who they're talking to, what they're interested in, what they're up to, to you and what you are doing and what you are building and what you are creating. And the thing is, this isn't something that can be faked. I speak a lot on this channel about the quantum realm and about how through this quantum space, we are actually all deeply interconnected to one another. Telepathy isn't just this fairy tale idea, it's a reality, even though it mostly happens subconsciously. So, subconsciously, you can send out an energy as a divine feminine that either repels your desires away from you or attracts them magnetically towards you. And this includes desires, connections, desired connections, relationships, and people in your life, especially when it comes to love, romance, and romantic attraction. When it comes to these romantic connections or situations, masculine energies connected to you are very easily able to perceive subconsciously whether you are fulfilled within yourself, whether you are focused on yourself, interested in your own self, in your own life, emphasizing all of that, or whether you are placing all of the emphasis and all of the focus on them. And when you are placing that focus, that emphasis on them as the other, this actually can create a bit of a repulsing kind of energy. And the reason for this comes down to that magnetism between the divine feminine and the divine masculine, because a healed, awakened, embodied divine masculine is one who likes to take action, to go after what they want to be, in essence, the chaser, the pursuer in a connection. So when you as a divine feminine create space for him to do that by placing the emphasis where it belongs back within yourself, really relaxing back into that divine feminine effortlessness, that essence of your own being, he can feel that shift. And while I do use these pronouns for ease of reference in these videos, he and him when I'm talking about the masculine energy and she, her when I'm talking about the feminine, please do keep in mind that these are just labels to describe energies and that actually we all do have a balance of each of these energies within us, just like there is a balance of the masculine and feminine in all of nature, all of creation. But we do tend to lean towards one polarity or the other. But again, this isn't necessarily related to any gender or anything like that. 
So getting back to this whole magnetic dynamic, essentially when you create the space for an awakened, healed masculine energy to step forward into action towards you, to pursue you, this creates more of a magnetic dynamic. Whereas if you aren't leaving them breathing room because you have placed so much focus and heavy attention and energy on them externally, that can create a bit of a repelling effect. And Again, the best way to really place that emphasis and focus back on yourself is through being immersed in what you are building, what you are creating, your dreams, your visions, and really allowing that to be the dominant focus of your life, allowing that to be the priority and these other connections, people, and things to be secondary to that overarching vision of yourself and your life. We are mistakenly taught that it is selfish as a feminine to be self-focused in that way when actually it is so highly magnetic. And again, especially when it comes to romantic connections with a masculine energy, but not just limited to love and romance. This also applies to attracting in anything as a divine feminine, because as the divine feminine, your true power comes from being in that flow state, having what we think of in spirituality as that as that open, healed, sacral chakra energy where you are focused on yourself, living in the moment, living in the flow state, really allowing yourself to enjoy your world and enjoy your life. That creates this almost like intoxicating aroma around you, but spiritually speaking, that causes others to want to simply be in your presence because, and this is what we're going to get into in the third way that you as a divine feminine can heal this wound around self-worth and self-sacrifice is by cleaning up or beautifying your space or your environment. And I'm not just talking physically, So you as a divine feminine create and bring an environment around yourself simply through your presence. Because again, what's happening in your internal environment is naturally projected on the external plane. It's it creates this kind of aura or this energy around you that naturally activates and inspires and uplifts others simply through you being present with them or being in the room. And so when you find ways to clean up either your internal environment, meaning to Allow yourself to take time out of your day to focus on things about yourself and your life that you love or that you appreciate, whether that's making gratitude lists or reading books that fill you with a sense of joy or peace or appreciation, really valuing finding ways to cultivate a peaceful, harmonious, happy internal environment within yourself. And also at the same time, of course, there can be a physical element involved in that where you are finding ways to promote a sense of inspiration and ease and flow and peace in whatever physical environment you find yourself in. So of course, this can look different from person to person. And I always advocate listening to your intuition above all else, because that really is the guiding compass of your life. But this might look like decluttering your space, like physically cleaning up your home environment, organizing your space, creating a space in your home where you can dedicate yourself to doing some kind of creative work or doing some kind of ritual that feels sacred to you personally, allowing your environment to serve you, to facilitate you. Again, whether we're talking kind of symbolically about an internal mind and emotional environment that serves you or an external environment that serves you and your vision and the 
the living of your ideal lifestyle, including, of course, the expression of your passion. So for example, if you are a painter, maybe you have a corner of your home where you have an easel and paint easily set up and available for you to be able to create. Or if you're a writer, you might have a certain space that you find uplifting to allow yourself to experience and write in. These environments we create as divine feminines and their magnetic potential and power cannot be underestimated when it comes to manifesting the things, the people, the connections that we desire and healing that wound around our own worthiness. I mean, especially when it comes to these environments where we can express our gifts and passions, creating those, even if it's like a corner of your living space where you leave, for example, creative things set up that you can use to express that passion or gift, this is sending a signal to you very deeply as a divine feminine that your passions are worth exploring and expressing, that you are worth that space, that you are worth that environment. So I really hope this video has been helpful or beneficial to some divine feminines out there listening. If so, I would love for you to leave me a comment under the video. You can also follow me on Instagram at Magnetize Yourself. And of course, I would love for you to subscribe to the channel and join our beautiful community here on YouTube. If you are interested in trying out my Awakened Divine Feminine Subliminal for my app Sound and Soulful, the link to download the app and sign up for a free seven-day trial is in the pinned comment and description box underneath the video. I am sending you all so much love today. Take care. Have a beautiful remainder of your day. And I will connect with you here again in the next video.